Hi, everyone. God bless you guys. So last night, um, I had a hard time sleeping last night, but I was laying there and I was praying and, and I was like, just talking to the Lord and I was asking him, um, Lord Jesus, what's, what's next? You know, if there's anything you want me to share with everybody or, or, you know, a warning or whatever, you know, um, I'm open <laughs> just, um, what's next is, is the rapture soon? You know, what's going to take place? What's, what's going to happen next? And, um, I was given this dream last night. Now it's been a while since I had the moon's dream because I've had four or five, um, moons in the sky dream. At one point, I think I was actually counting 11 moons in the sky. And um, I've been giving the two moons dream and the two suns dream and the three moons dream and um, five moons in the sky and uh, seven moons in the sky and even more. And so last night in the dream, I, it, I came out side and my husband was there outside with me and I sat down on these uh, steps and I looked up at the sky and I saw um, two moons. One moon was orbiting towards the other moon and I could see it like, you know, it wasn't moving super fast, but it was just going across the sky and I knew it was about to converge with the other moon. Like join together. Um, one was going in front of the other one. And I said in my, I, I told John, I said, look up in the sky. I said, look what's happening. And I said, there's two moons and it's about to be a convergence. And then I immediately jumped up and I started looking in my pockets for my cell phone so I could take a picture or um, like a live video. I think I was going to try to do a live video. And I'm, I'm telling John, where's my phone? Where's my phone? And he was like, um, he didn't really seem too concerned about it. He was just like, well, I, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. And, um, he said, are you sure that it'll be able to catch, you know, they'll be able to see it? Like, because when I try to take pictures of the blood moons and stuff, you guys, it doesn't look like how I'm looking at it. It looks really far away and, um, not as bright. It comes out a different color. And so... He was asking me, are you sure they're going to be able to see it the way you're seeing it? And I was like, I don't know. And I don't care. I'm just going to get on and, you know, get my phone and do what I can to show everybody on YouTube what is going on. And I was looking around and then I stopped and I thought, did I miss it? And I looked back up into the sky. Let me see here. And I saw three moons. And, um, it seems like they were orbiting. I would, the Lord was showing me like an orbit. They were in a certain or orbit that they, it wasn't all the same orbit. So they were moving around the sky, but they were still pretty close to each other. And there was like two big ones and one smaller one. And they begin to break apart and move. And then I really started getting panicked. I was like, I won't be able to get all the moons in one shot. And, <laughs> and I was running around. I'm like, where is my phone? And I started getting frustrated with, um, John and, um, and I'm looking around and then I try to look up again and there's these dark, um, silhouetted trees that were in my way. So I'm like, Oh, I'm going to have to move. And so I took a few step off the steps and walked and I looked again and I saw um, 
the three moons started to break apart in a different orbit. One was going down, but this time it had two other moons. The third moon had two other moons um, around it. The bigger moon was going up, and the other moon was going to the side, and they started to break apart. And by this time, I was getting real panicky. And um, I ran to, there was the car right there, the vehicle was there, and I ran to the vehicle and I was looking around because um, I, I was asking John, I'm like, well, did I leave it in the car? And I went to go look and it was sitting on, well, I thought it was sitting on the seat of the car. And so I'm looking around in the dark, feeling around on the seats of the car. No, it wasn't there. And then I run back and I out from there and I, cause it was by the tree and I look up in the sky and I see an alignment. These five moons had come back and made a straight line in the sky. And I said, Oh my goodness, it's the alignment. And it was five moons. And now I'm getting seriously frantic because <laughs> I want to, I want to video all this, you know, of this stuff happening. And I knew that they, it was very special because they had all come into a row, a very straight row of five moons and made an alignment. And it was, um, horizontal, a horizontal alignment. And, um, <laughs> And then, so I started trying to blame John that he did something with my phone. <laughs> I think John represented Jesus, you guys. I think I was like, there's something going on here. Um, I was just frustrated. And then I ran back out to the car and I found my phone. He had put it up on the dash in the windshield. And I was like, why didn't you tell me you put my phone in the dash of the wind, windshield, windshield? And um, I think maybe that the car and, and the phone not being readily available could mean that we're not here for these events in the sky. I don't know. But, um, uh, okay. And then I ran back and I saw this. I saw seven moons in the sky and there was a, like two big ones, a cup, you know, a few medium ones and a little small ones. But, um, let me see, did I, yeah. And then I saw they started to break apart. They went into different orbits. Um, one cluster of plan, like a pl I don't know if they're planets that look like moons that, that have come, you know, close or if they're really moons, I don't know, but a cluster broke apart and started orbiting down. One started orbiting to the left one started going up and the other one started going across the sky so I was thinking oh my goodness that all this stuff is because I was afraid it was going to stop <clears throat> so I was looking for my phone yeah and this is the first part the two moons they were joining together it was going to make this huge moon which brings me to Lashara Pinckney had a dream that her and Sherry were walking outside and they looked up in the sky and they saw these two moons. They were coming together to make a super moon. And Lashara was like, quick, Sherry, get your phone to take pictures of and stuff. And I, I'm not clear, but I think they couldn't find their phones or something like that. And and Sherry doesn't even have a cell phone. But in the dream, Lashara was telling her to get her get her phone out. <laughs> so, um, and then another sister here about a year and a half ago had a dream about the this moon's aligned in the sky. It made me think of this too. And um, they had an audible rapture at Supermoon. And then somebody else had, uh, I th I'm not sure if it's the same person, the same sister, or two different ones. It's been a long time, but somebody else had an audible rapture at Kamoon, C-A-M-O-O-N. So, um, you know, I'm not saying 
you know, oh, we're going to see a super moon, and then on the super moon is rapture. Nobody, nobody really knows exactly. I don't know, but um, we know that we are in the last days, and we know that these are the last seconds, you guys. Um, we see all these uh, prophecies coming to pass through scripture, and um, Paris is on fire. I mean, that's another um, fulfilled, a uh, dream that I had, uh, London bridge is falling down and the Eiffel tower was leaning and, and people were running around the city. And just today, I mean, it's taken a turn really, really for the worse. <sighs> and all this stuff at the borders before all this, they even reached the border here in California and Mexico. I had a dream that the border was on fire. They were um, and they were hiring actors, an actor, Robert De Niro, to go down there and, and work on the border. And I think the Lord's trying to tell us that some of these pictures are going to be staged. Some of these things aren't going to be true of what's happening. Like that woman um, with her kid and the diaper and everything, and it shows her next to the tear gas and everything. That was staged. She was paid money for that. Um, there's a woman that's down on the border right now, and she actually has citizenship in Mexico and California, and she's down there in their camps in that, um, stadium. And it is gross. It is disgusting. And she was showing, going around, talking to these people saying, you need to go back. You need to go back. And they're sick. She had a face mask on. They have diseases and she actually found um, the tent. The kids poked their head out and she said, oh my goodness. She was talking to them in Spanish. She said, are you, you guys are famous. You're the, you're the kids, the one in the diapers with the tear gas that's going around everywhere. And um, they had a really nice big tent. And um, one of the kids that had the diaper on in the picture pulled his shirt up and he had chicken pox or measles or something like that all over his body. And she was like, <gasps> and you know, she left <laughs> and, um, she's just going through just documenting everything. I forget her name, but <clears throat> going through documenting in these camps where they're staying, it's flooded. It has water. There's mud. They're walking around barefoot. It's cold. They, the city has dropped off, um, porta potties for them. There's probably like 10 porta potties all in a row for all those people. They're sharing 10 porta potties. And um she's like asking them questions like where'd you get your cell phones? Where'd you get your nice clothes? You know, how'd you get those shoes? Things like that. Who who bought you all these tents? And um they're kind of giving like indirect um answers, you know, but, um, anyway, I don't know how I got off on that, but things are coming full circle, um, according to scripture. And we don't have a lot of time left you guys. And, um, but I thought I'd share the stream with you and God bless you guys.